Hi everyone! Today I've got a video for you that's a realistic male face-up, which I don't think I've done on this channel before. So this doll is from a company called Fifth Motif. They're cast by a larger doll company called Dolshi. Anyway, this is one of my favorite male sculpts that's out there at the moment. I actually own this doll myself. So with this one, instead of doing eyelid lines in the pencil, I just went ahead and added some dark shading into the eyelid crease because the sculpt has a very definite indentation there. So you don't really need to put a pencil line in there because the sculpt has already added it for you, which is one of the things I love about this doll. He's just so amazingly well sculpted and very realistic and I find that really appealing. This is the color palette that I use. So this is all of the colors that I use to make this face. I don't have the names for all of them because a lot of the wrappers have peeled off and I tend to buy pastels from different companies. So the little labels peel off and then I have no idea what the color is or where it came from, which is not helpful, but you know, it is what it is. So instead of doing a thick black eyeliner, like I usually do on the female dolls that I work on, I just went with a light sort of brown acrylic wash, just because I wanted it to be very natural looking and I didn't want it to stand out a whole lot, but I still wanted some darkness in the eye well to help hide the lash line on the eyelashes when I go to glue those in at the end. The wig the owner is going to use is going to be blonde, so she was wanting her doll to sort of have a neutral look. She didn't want blonde eyebrows, she wanted something that was going to have a little more definition and still be applicable to other wigs if she ever decided to change that in the future. And I always think that darker eyebrows always look a little bit better, like that's just my preference. Like even in a, if you have a doll in a blonde wig, I'd still prefer it to have darker brows. Not black, but you know, just a nice, soft, natural kind of brown, I think works well with blonde hair. And also it depends on the level of blonde. I mean, if it's albino blonde, then it's a different case, but this is a very golden blonde, very surfer boy kind of blonde. So we went with a sort of a soft, natural brown color for the eyebrows. One of the main differences in painting male faces to female faces is where you put the shading on the eyes. Most female dolls, you'll add the shading to the outer corners 
to create a sort of you know a prettier and dramatic more feminine look but on male dolls you tend to weight that shading towards the nose so you want it on the inner eyes to create a heavy set brow which in turn gives the dolls a more masculine look so you'll see me doing quite a lot of shading to the inner eye and a lot less on the outer eye and I also try to keep the eyelids fairly clean and clear because again we're going for natural so I don't want him to look like he's wearing makeup I just want to have all of the correct shading and highlighting done And again, with the under eye shading, I've placed that mostly in the center of the eye, just to sort of hint at shadow and the way that shadow would fall under the curve of the eye there, without putting it on the edges, which sort of looks a lot more like smoky eye shadow. Here I'm adding the texturing and because he's a larger doll I went ahead and did a really light layer of texturing with the paintbrush and I feel that that just gives a really nice starting base. It's very organic looking because the pattern is very random so I quite enjoy that. And then after I've done a very light base of that, I'll go in with the paintbrush and actually heavy up the areas where I want a lot of texture and detail. But again, I'm using a very watered down acrylic paint because I don't want him to have the appearance of freckles. I do want him to have a textural finish to his skin, sunspots and just imperfections in the skin, but I don't necessarily want him to have freckles. So we're just going over with a really light wash of paint and I'm sort of hitting a lot of areas where you would see pores and sunspots. So a lot of areas around the nose and around the temples and high on the cheeks, sort of for a sun-kissed kind of look. Also added a few creases around his eyes as well as some very light blue veining just to give his skin a bit of a translucent appearance because he is a white skinned doll and he also got a few moles there's nothing I love more than adding moles to a doll I just think it really brings them to life and adds character you know this is of course the Tamiya gloss I love this gloss uh, it's super shiny, it gets a really glass-like finish, but if you don't like a high gloss look, then this probably isn't the gloss that you want to use. You can always get a satin finish instead, like I do have a satin finish gloss that I can use as well if people prefer a matte look. But I prefer the really super high gloss finish because, you know, it just makes them look alive. The glue that I'm using for the eyelashes is just Elmer's glue. And this tool that I'm using is a dental pick. Um, so I bought a set of dental tools off eBay for, I don't know, I think it was like $8. Super cheap anyway. And you get like a pack of crazy tools, uh, most of which you'll never use. But I just, they come in handy for sculpting. 
So if you want to do any kind of sculpting or poking at small things, then dental tools are really handy. enjoyed painting this guy. I absolutely love painting male sculpts. The eyebrows are my most favorite thing to paint. Getting to paint two of them was really great. So if you liked that, let me know and I'll try and film some more male face-ups in the future. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.